Hi everyone, Hi. my name is Sophie and this is Summer. Hi. And I'm the creator of Lo Loaf Knits and she's the creator of Knits by Summer and we thought we'd get together today just to talk about our most recent knits and just to chat. So grab yourself a cup of tea, knit along with us and let's get into it. So, Summer. Yes. Tell us about your sweater. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, this is Ella sweater by mm -hmm. me. Um, just went out today. Yeah, very nice. Are you happy? Yeah, it's really pretty. What kind of yarn did you use? I used Pure Gint, and then the Alpaca Fogatra. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we don't all pronounce things <laughs> correctly, but it's not uh, in a language that's our first language, so you could fool me. Um. Very nice. Thanks. And it's released today, so I'm going to put the pattern in the description and you can buy it from her if you really <laughs> want to because look how good it looks. What kind of construction did you use? Uh, this is top to down, uh, contiguous, Very I think nice. it's called. Very nice. Yeah, you start from the back yoke, uh, pick up stitches for the shoulder, you join at the front and then join in the round. Very good. Very cool. Um, I'm gonna show what I've been working on and what I finished. So I've been showing these in my videos. Um, at first when I showed the video, I was just like casting on <laughs> and, then, and then I had one sock done but not the other. And then in another video, I was pretty close to being done with them. Summer knit a couple of rows for me because I was like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> and she knits way faster than me. So I was like, okay, we'll do a little trade for a moment. So here they are. They're done. I Good wore them job. to school today. Um, so they're a little loose, but they're really cute. So cute. Yes. Love the yarn. I know. So what did, what did you use? Lycan and Lace. Mm -hmm. 80, oh wait, is it AB20 sock? I think it's called AB20 sock. I think so. Yeah, some, some people call it like nylon sock, but these are AB20 sock, I think. And pressed flowers, I think. Yeah. No, I think it's the other flowers. Something flowers. Wildflowers? Yeah, that one. Okay. Because the pressed flowers. Yours is pressed flowers? Yeah. Okay, mine might be wildflowers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It gets confusing. It's yeah. cute though. It is cute. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we got ChatGPT to give us some questions today. Some really good questions. They might be a bit basic because I don't know how much ChatGPT really knows about knitting. But I think <laughs> that'd be interesting. Yeah, it's not gonna ask us like different types of stitches and that kind of thing, but it's broad in general. How did you first get into knitting? Um uh it was two years ago almost. Yeah, two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We took the same biology course right. at the college. Yep. I saw you wearing your handmade Kalasa cute sweater which one was it you remember was it orange no no that one was the like the marshmallow looking oh like the colorful. that one yes yeah okay gotcha yeah i saw you wearing that yeah. in the class i yeah like i instantly had to just talk to you <laughs> because it was so cute and yeah i just like hey I'm Summer. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh yeah, we were lab partners, right? Yes. Okay. So we were lab partners. I think you were going to go to the parking lot. Probably. And then, like, I saw you again. So I was like, oh, I should talk to her. <laughs> and then, yeah, I just Cute. had to compliment her. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So good. And then, first thing you knitted was cables, right? You made a little headband. Yeah. The cable headband was your first project. Yeah. You're crazy. But I love that for you. You're welcome. Yeah, I didn't choose anything simple for my first project either. I made a sweater, but I yeah. was yeah, but okay. I was I was knitting through the back loop. So instead of like the sweater like having like diamonds, it was kind of like are they called parallelograms? Like when it's like a sideways diamond? No, that's a mm -hmm. little different. But it was what, like what and, color was it? It was orange. Yeah, I think I saw yeah, that. Yeah, but it was yeah. supposed to be kind of like diamonds, but they were like diamonds on a slant. 
because I was standing through the back <laughs> loop. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll pull up a picture. But that that one is by Brenda. A girl named is it Beatific Brenda? I don't remember how to say her. She she lives in Canada. Right? Yeah. In Ottawa. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we know. <laughs> Alright, so how did you first get into knitting, <laughs> Sophie? It's a really good question. I think I think I saw like one of my friends and she had made a sweater and it was really it looked really nice and it was kind of like a chunkier knit and I was like I really want to make sweaters because mm -hmm. I think at the time I was working at a car wash and I was making a bit more money than what I was used to yeah. what I was used to and I was like I was buying a lot of sweaters mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was also in college so I was like oh I don't have money for this yeah, so I was like nice. I should really start knitting and then I found out that yarn costs a lot of money but I still kept going you know I probably still bought less and was more intentional about mm -hmm. buying yarn because you know you have to commit to it and you have to like really yeah you commit to it and it's for a long period of time and until you finish it and then yeah. you get a finished project mm -hmm. projects hopefully so I think that's how I started knitting and then I just found an online pattern the same way I was talking about the orange sweater so it's pretty good yeah I also remember you um said that you were able to crochet before knitting right yeah I did yeah I made like a really small blanket I don't even know what stitch I was using yeah <laughs> but I like made like a little lap blanket Cute. because I had more yarn to make a full blanket mm -hmm. but I just really didn't want it anymore I want to move on and make a sweater I was yeah. like oh, I can't do this anymore and so I started knitting nice. I like it better no offense to anybody who crochets but yeah. it's okay same here. Yeah. <laughs> Have you started crocheting? I did. You did. Make granny squares? Yes. Oh, just cool. to like practice yeah. because I work at a yarn store and mm -hmm. you know, um, crocheters come into your place and then just You're like, like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so thought I should know the basics. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, what's your favorite type of yarn to work with mm. and why? I feel like I know this answer. Yeah. Can I say it? Can sure, I guess? Sure. Rustic wool. Not that's one. one. Okay, good. Yes, good, that's good. one. Then maybe I shouldn't lose confidence. Okay, go ahead. I like rustic yarn first mm -hmm. because I know they last. Mm -hmm. Um, you know they can be itchy, but I think at some point I kind of got over it because I just know they last mm -hmm. and yeah. Um, another thing that I really love to work with is, um, 100% wool and then silk mohair yes, strand it together. so good. Do you want to show us that, yeah. that you're working on? Are both of them? Oh, yeah, I these are this both. blue one. Um, yeah. Pretty. This is what I've been working on lately. Um, it's just a simple stocking it Grinick sweater that I've been designing or self-dressing. Yeah. I might make a pattern out of it. I really like it. Nice. It's a pretty color. Yeah. Wait, I have something to show you. Look what I got. I think it's the same color. No way. Yeah, wait. Dude, <laughs> really? Yeah. Can I got it, it online. Yeah. I mean, I got it off of Lucky Sweater, which is like, um... Oh, the app that yeah. you were talking about! Yeah, I really have a new... Yeah, I really wanna... I really wanna get do it. that, yeah. Yeah, so this is, um, the, the heavy merino. Best deep truck. It's the same color! I know! We'll be matching! Oh my god. <laughs> For besties. Yes. So this is it. Dusty Petroleum Blue, everybody. You had it here first. Um, yeah. Exciting. I'm really excited to make something out of this. I am excited for you. Yeah. But yeah. I think that like silk mohair and merino is like the most timeless thing ever. I think so. It and just, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And I don't necessarily think that I have a really bad tension or anything. Yeah, but it's a good tension. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like it tends to hide. Mm, right. Even if you like have. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It yeah. does hide it, it. Yeah, it does. Because it kind of gives like a little layer 
of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, to kind of cover it up. And some strengths too. Yeah, because right? Cause if you block it, I think the silk mohair helps a lot because it helps it to not stretch because... Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's like really... It's strong. Yeah. The silk mohair. The silk is yeah. strong. Yeah. yeah, it is strong. <laughs> it's not going to stretch. Um, okay. Fabulous. Fab. Um, you ask me now. Either question. Is that third one? Sure. Okay. Can you share a memorable knitting project you've completed? Um, a memorable one. Oh, this one's good. I like this one. I like it because um, the person who wrote the pattern is really good at writing patterns. So, so <laughs> um, that's what I gotta say. And also, it's comfy and it didn't cost a lot because I used Cascade Eco. Eco Plus, I think it's called. And I only had to use two skeins. So. That, that big, huge skein? Yeah, the huge skeins. Only two? Only two. Wow. Yeah, it's two. But then I also had to add the drops alpaca. So it was a little more expensive. But it's a it's an economical, cheap type of wool. Mm -hmm. so, or alpaca, so. What I find fascinating about this sweater is that even though she's not using silk mohair, yes. it looks really like cozy what can I say? and like fuzzy enough, Yeah, but not too fuzzy. Because it's like the wool, I guess, probably. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really comfy too and it's not too itchy for me. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I get itchy like on my neck slightly, but not too bad at all. That's yeah. Good. And yeah. it's just a really good weight because I don't have to wear a jacket. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> But I do have jackets that fit under stilts, so that's good. I wore it a lot when it snowed. No. Yeah, so that was helpful because oh, it yeah. kept me warm. It was really cold. Yeah, yeah it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have a memorable knitting project you've completed? Mm. I think all of my patterns, I love them. They're all memorable because... Um, like when I release a pattern, I usually have like lots of testers and I have met so many amazing people along this knitting journey. Um, but like other than my own patterns, I would say Jenny sweater by Petite Knit because that was yeah, that's heck a hard of a job. one. Yeah, that's a hard one. Um, yeah, I wish I had it with me today, but um, yeah, that's okay. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll insert a picture. picture. Yeah, they'll see it. They'll see it. Yeah. Um, I'll ask you another question. Are there any knitting techniques or stitches that you find cha challenging, and then another that you find enjoyable? Ooh. I don't have to think about that. <laughs> what is hard for you? Tell us. Hard. <laughs> I would say, I would say any kind of lace patterns. That's true, yeah. Just cause, just cause you kind of have to keep track of it. That's true. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's why I make a lot of, I mean like I love simple pattern. Mm -hmm. I, um, just cause they're so wearable. Yep. Um, yeah, I can see them being my wardrobe yeah, in the next time. 10 years, mm -hmm. like, so. That makes sense. That's what I, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's just. Mm. Do you want to show the stitch that you're doing? The sure, cable yeah. Stitch? Cable stitch is fun. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. It's not bad because you just have to, like, insert it. I don't know, it's fun to me. Yeah, this is, like, alternating cable alternating little swatch little swatch so cute yeah. i love it i love the two color i'm hoping to make a first cable mm -hmm. sweater pattern from knits by summer that would be awesome okay what are you thinking for it like are you thinking of doing a sweater or a vest or something else i'll probably start out with a sweater because i have a sweater mm -hmm. comedy but, um, Good idea. if it turned out well, but like, maybe like a vest, like a little bag. What kind of mohair is that? That one's 
send the scar and since more okay, there. Cool. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. You can ask me the same thing. Mm -hmm. Number four. Uh, are there any knitting techniques or stitches that you find challenging but very enjoyable? Good question. I'm a stockinette girly at heart. What can I say? I just really like stockinette because... I agree. Yeah, <laughs> anything that takes brain work is kind of hard. But I also love... I really like cables. I've done cables once for like my... Um, I think it's called the Snowfall Jumper. That's by Brenda as well. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, in my chunky wool. Yep. Yes. I got some pictures taken in that sweater. But um, I really like it. It's cute. Um... Yeah, stockinette, all the way, in the round. However flat, I do not like stockinette. <laughs> not fun. I don't like purling. I just like stockinette in the round. But I will purl if I have to, like I did here in this sweater. I did, and it's okay. Because yeah. it's not for that long. Then you get into the body, and yeah. it's okay. It's just for this far. Yeah. Yeah. I've, too far. yeah. And I've found in the past that I don't like one-by-one one ribbing, because I find that my tension isn't very even, but mm -hmm. I really like two-by-two two ribbing. I don't know why. My tension is really even and even and two by two, but not in one by one. I don't know why. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So. It's I mean, I find I find um, one by one ribbing a little bit like sometimes depending on the yarn. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes it's True. challenging. Yeah. If it's especially if it's a cardigan that oh. you have to like work on the right side and wrong side. Right. That's true. If it's, if it's in the round, it doesn't really... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, much. here is, like, good. Yeah. But, like, if I were good. to use, like, fine yarn, like, for, like, a toque or something, for yeah. some reason, it doesn't look as good. But it is what it is. Sometimes it's just like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you prefer any small, quick projects or larger, more intricate ones? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily intricate, mm -hmm. but I like making sweaters, mm -hmm. so maybe a larger project. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel the same, I think. Yeah, I like I like smaller projects sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like if I've just completed something really big, yeah. then it might be nice to do something smaller. Yeah. But most of the time I would say I prefer big projects. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you another question. Um, oh, wait, can I add oh. something? Yeah, go. I think that the reason why I don't, I tend to make a huge, I mean, like a garment, mm -hmm. like sweaters instead of like hats and socks is because I hate having leftover yarns. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the time, um, socks and hats <laughs> have lots of leftovers. Yeah, that's for true. For some reason. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I'm i sure I have leftovers from sweaters and stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't know. That's fair. That's what I feel like. Interesting. Yeah. I can't, I can't really, yeah, I guess I agree. Like, um, I've made, uh, I think it's called a hipster hat for my dad. Mm -hmm. Is that the two by two ribbing one? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. And I still have like a skein left somehow. I yeah. don't know how. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I, I bought too, one too many or something. I'm not sure. Um, are there any knitting patterns or designs you've been wanting to try? Um, hmm. Or any that have like inspired you that you've seen lately? Jenny's sweater was definitely one of them. So that's. Mm -hmm. That I already did. You got that one. Mm, let's see. Something I've been wanting to try, just in general, is some lace patterns. Mm -hmm. um, I really admire patterns from Sari Nordland, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, um, it's not really my style, but I really like the patterns from um, Hirose, Midori Hirose. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She's a Japanese designer, I think. Yeah. Yeah, making a ranunculus in the spring would be really nice. I kind of want to do that. Because I feel like I want to make something with 
more Sen Senna's line. That's mm -hmm. like more like a t-shirt. Yeah. I've seen the Peacock tee, which is a really nice one. I don't remember who's made that one, but Jen from the yarn store, Uptown Yarns, has made it, and it's really pretty. Oh, I yeah. think you showed yeah. me the picture. Yeah. yeah. So I want to make one of those maybe before I go on practicum for teaching, because mm. I don't really have any good, like, summer, spring shirts that will, like, keep me cool enough when I'm, like, walking and running all over the place, so mm -hmm. I think... That would be a good idea because I don't really want to wear a tank top because you should be more like formal and stuff. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to try and do before I go on practicum. Because I think like, because it's knitted too, it's different than like just wearing a t-shirt, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like it's kind of like more formal, yeah. nicer. And yeah. Stuff, so. I mean, you're, you're and do. obviously I know you're going to use like nice material. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, now you asked me number six. Are there any knitting patterns or designs you've been wanting to try? Wait, I guess the peacock tea <laughs> answers that. I guess that's okay. fun. Yeah. But let me think of another. Um, I can't think of particular pattern right now because Fair enough. because I kind of have been like I kind of went through the different patterns I wanted to try over the winter. Yeah, but I would like to try and make another sweater pattern either out of that petroleum blue mm -hmm. or make something that someone has already created that I really like. I just mm -hmm. haven't found anything yet. That's fair. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um how do you choose the colours for your knitting projects? Ooh <laughs> Chat GPT is doing good. Yeah. <laughs> doing good so far. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Um uh... I am, um, in terms of the colors, I'm like all over the place. You are. I don't see a particular theme for you. No, I don't, I don't think I have one. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever I thought was cute, like <laughs> when I, when I see the yarn, like this yeah. one, like I did, I wasn't like, oh, originally nice. making, I was going to make, make this in this color. Right. Originally. But I saw the yarn. It's cute. You're like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, yeah fair. Yeah. Um, but I try to stick with the colors that um, I would look better in. Right, yeah. Because we all have colors that suit us. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, I like this one for me. But yeah. that's your color. <laughs> yeah. Like, to be honest, this is not really my color. I think that's um, nice. Thank you. I tend to go for uh, blue undertone or like pink undertone right. like yeah. um things to suit your skin like color. cold colors yeah because cold i colors. have dark yeah. hair right um i don't have like warmth in my face really right oh, like you have brown eyes right mm -hmm. brown hair yeah but it's do... really good with the yeah bright colors yeah yeah i don't know about my skin tone i think it's i don't know I feel like it's more olive -y, but like yeah. not super olive -y, you know what yeah, I mean? I think so. Kind of like my Nana, but like a little different. Yeah. I'm trying to remember from yeah. <laughs> that the only <laughs> one time, one time I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, but I do, I don't know what I like. I think I really like earthy tones. You look good in those. Thank yeah. you. I like earthy tones, I like jewel tones, and vibrant colors like i really like cobalt blue but i need to make myself a sweater with that i've made a cobalt blue sweater yeah, but it doesn't remember. fit super good oh. so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it to my mom but i'm gonna lengthen it a little bit yeah, yeah. i i also remember you have that one hoodie in that color yeah, I so like for me i also have this shirt on oh you really like that color hey really like that color <laughs> yeah yeah i feel yeah. like i I've seen you wear mm -hmm. lots of greens and blues. Yeah, I do like greens and blues. And sometimes like beige. Yeah, I really like green actually. Mm -hmm. I really like green. You do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I like beige. Yeah. So I don't specifically have a theme either. Kind of just like whatever stands out to me and then sometimes I'll just like put something up to my face and like see if it oh, suits me. Too, yeah. So that's usually what happens. But yeah. And like I have like this yarn. It's 
often. Uh, it's gonna be used eventually. I can't decide between the heavy merino or this stuff, so. I know. We're gonna do the stripes. I'm still gonna. You, you're just, still gonna. Okay. Just waiting. Okay. Because I want to finish my twin flower camisole. So, I need to get those stripes. And I'm really excited to have a more like cream sweater. I'm so excited. Because yeah. I really like cream. I should have one too. Yeah. Wait, I don't. This is kind of a cream one, but it kinda. has the tweed in it. I want, yeah. And I didn't use silk mohair um, for yeah. it. I feel like I should have one sweater that that's like just solid white mm. or cream. I know, I should do that too. I just don't have but that. But like variety. No. <laughs> No. Yeah, so. Cute. There's another. Yeah, but I'm working on this one for my cousin. Currently. I'm still working on them. I know! But I'm actually really close now, so. Good job. Thank you. It just like, I don't know, it's like the body now, and so it takes a while. Proud of you. Thank you. And I haven't passed <laughs> it on anything else, so this is just what I've been working on. That's good. I'm good not a you. quick knitter. No, it's so, okay. It's okay to take time. It's true. It's true. So here she is. She's getting there. The body needs to measure 25 centimeters. So it's going to be a little bit more. But I can kind of look at this line because the GD's magic cast on is just like it gives it a little bit of like a different tension. Mm. And so, which is fine because it'll it block out. out. Yeah. Yeah, I will. So I'm nobody sure. will notice, probably. <laughs> Hopefully. I think once it's on, because, like, it's not just going to be flat. Like, in the camera, you can't really see it. No. Right? And once it's on and it's, like, more, like, form-fitting, yeah. nobody's going to tell. Nobody's going to know. It'll out. It's fine. How will they know? So, I need to measure it. I always base my measurements according to a ruler, so I picture how big a ruler is in my mind, about this big. So it's, it's, this is, this is 30, yes. this is 25-ish. Okay. So, and then also I know if I'm at school and I'm knitting, oh, that's my phone. My phone measures 15 <laughs> centimeters, so I've got my phone here. I'm like, oh, okay, so it's about 20 or something like that. So what can I say? Work smarter, not harder. Smart girl. Thanks. Try my best. Um, what's the last question? Ooh, I think this is an easy one to answer. Have you ever attended a knitting class or a knitting workshop? Hmm, no, I don't no. think so. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. that I know of. Do you ever watch any when you're at Beehive? Do I ever... Watch? watch any like because they have classes right or is that oh, after hours um sometimes they do it in the morning like before even open mm -hmm. um How yeah but usually happen? it's after okay the yeah that makes sense would that be like really early in the morning what time do you guys usually so. open we usually open at 10 okay so the class so, like, before eight thirty. maybe morning. yeah mm -hmm. that makes sense okay do you have anything that you would like to show the group before we end? Oh, yes. I have this sweater that I have. My very, the most recent yes. FO. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. And what's it called? What's it called? Merlot? Merlot. Merlot? Yeah, Merlot. Oh, okay. So yeah. you don't pronounce the T. Yeah. I don't I, know what I, language it is. I don't know, anyway. but I um, asked for some suggestions yeah. on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my followers who have knitted, um, who have tested for me, suggested this name, and I just really liked it. So pretty. And what yarn did you use? Uh, knitting for olive, merino, and soft silk mohair. Gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous, which is the same as that blue one, right? Yes. And is it the same needle size too? Um, yeah, I used four mil, so I meant three mil for the ribbing. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, we wanted to work something 
something in this color. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty happy. Good. Yeah, it's pretty. And I think that's all I have to show too. So we'll say bye bye. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. See you.